Hey guys, Datsun743 here, and today I'm in my new house, uh, which obviously I told you about in a previous episode. Here I am, this is my new room, my desk behind me here. Uh, this is what I've got going on at the moment. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about my Crystal Ballast career mode. The Fuse 17 is just about to come out, and so what I've done is I've played through the whole of the Crystal Ballast career mode um, to complete it. Uh, finish it off and I'll tell you how I got on. The last episode finished with the January transfer window about to end and I had not been doing very much business. So I went in for a couple of players. I went in for Shane Duffy of Blackburn, now of Brighton, um, Ki Sung Young of Swansea, Alex Awobi on loan from Arsenal and Bertrand Traore of Chelsea. Now, some of these moves well, three of them were successful. Uh, I got Shane Duffy for £825,000. I managed to loan uh, Woe for the rest of the season. I brought in Traore for £5 million, which uh, I might have tried to bargain, but because it was the last day of the transfer window, I just had to go in there at the £5 million bid. And unfortunately, Ki Sing Young was in fact sold to Kong in Germany, so we didn't manage to win him. So, the FA Cup. As I don't know if you remember, but we were in a one all draw with Leicester in the first round, so we went into a replay, and we won 5-3 with a 90th minute equaliser to make it 3 all. a hat-trick from debutant Bertrand Traore in the striker position. Amazing stuff, clearly he's going to be a great signing for the season. Then we had a couple of okay results in the Premier League, but one key thing that did happen was Scott Down, our main centre-back, got injured for a month, so we had to bring in uh, a replacement, and the young lad that uh, who had been doing okay up to this point, Luke Kroll, uh, I brought him in as centre back. It then came a fantastic run of form in the Premier League where we had three games in a row where we won and we scored four goals. So we're into the quarter final of the cup. We're playing Wigan and of course they've got FA Cup history. Uh, we don't manage to beat them, it's nil nil. So uh, a game for the third time in the cup, we go to a replay. And in that game, Damien Delaney is injured for a month. Luke Kroll, though, is almost not worried because Luke Kroll has been an incredible find uh, from the Crystal Palace Youth Academy. Scott Dan and Breed Hangeland messaged me after this game about dropping Luke Kroll. I think they were clearly uh, positioning the whole team being uh, jeopardised because this young guy was doing so well in the team, so they wanted me to get rid of him. In the replay of that FA Cup game, we managed to beat Wigan 3 1, which means we're into the semi finals of the Cup. After this, I'm thinking about transfers. I listed quite a few players. Connor Wickham, Harry Suttar, the young lad we bought in the summer transfer window. I wasn't impressed with his performances. So the FA Cup semi-final it comes down to. We draw Manchester City, but it doesn't go well. We're 2-0 down. We, we don't know what to do, but some incredible determination pulls us back to 2 all in the 90th minute. And then it all goes down here. Damien Delaney, penalty, red card, Aguero scores it, 3-2, we lose against Man City, it's uh, probably the low point of the season. Then a couple of less good results, you can see this has really, really affected the team, uh, we were really struggling to cope with uh, having been knocked out in such a horrible fashion. That wasn't the same feeling until we played the current top team, Arsenal. Um, we're currently fighting for the title, it's a two-horse race between us and, and Arsenal, but it doesn't look like we're going to do it. The only way we can do it is if we beat Arsenal and hope for a couple of other lucky results. Amazingly, we managed to beat Arsenal 4-2. Arsenal loanee Alex Iwobi scores a hat-trick against his parent club. At this point we have three points behind Arsenal in the Premier League title race, so we really need them to slip up. We have two games remaining. Can we do it? Well, unfortunately, we couldn't put it off. We drew both of our final games to Stoke and Southampton, but we managed to finish second in the league uh, to Arsenal. And second place for Crystal Palace, a fantastic achievement. Uh, the board was very, very impressed, and the semi-final of the FA Cup. So that has been the end of my Crystal Palace career mode. I've been Dazzle743. See you next time.